Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hey guys, Zot here. Holy Priests have been rising out of the ashes recently, making their mark in the 2v2 bracket. Having what feels like insane healing, endless cooldowns, and for some reason, they do it all whilst being immune to everything you throw at them. Well, don't worry, in this video, we're going to be covering the top 5 ways to counter a Holy Priest. Welcome to knowing your enemy. Our first tip, and without a doubt the biggest, is to play and focus around Greater Hill. Greater Hill is a Holy Priest's main way to heal. When I say main way, I really do mean it. Holy Priest outside of Greater Hill does literally zero healing. Flash Hill heals for absolutely nothing. Same with Renew, Prayer of Mending, and all their other abilities. The only exception to this being Serenity, which is a baseline 1 minute cooldown which when combined with cooldowns like Guardian Angel can do some decent healing. Anyway, back to the point. Greater Heal is so strong because it heals for 65% of the target's maximum health, which is pretty absurd. But to counteract this, its drawback is an incredibly long cast time. Your win rate when up against the Holy Priest is going to revolve entirely around how you deal with Greater Heal. If you've been interrupting Mind Control, Flash Heal, Heal or any other spell, it will probably mean your games when up against the Holy Priest are not going too good. So you need to get into the habit of giving Greater Heal your full attention, and instead of kicking it instantly, wait until right at the end of the cast, as Greater Heal is a 3 second baseline cast time before haste. Also, get into the habit of treating Holy Priests differently to any other healer. In most cases, you'll want to stun your target to get pressure. Well, don't do that with Holy. Instead, save every form of interrupt you have to prevent greater heals. If you are a rogue, don't stun until they're about to finish their greater heal cast, for example. If you're a warlock, reactively look to cast fear to disrupt their heal mid cast. Focus, disrupt, and play around greater heal, and you'll most likely see yourself having a much better time when up against holy priests. If you're unfamiliar with Holy Priest, you'll notice you may have a tendency to start missing all of your spells and attacks. Well, that's because of Greater Fade. What Greater Fade does is replace a Priest's Fade with an improved or more so greater version. What this does is with a 45 second cooldown and 4 second duration, makes the Priest immune to all forms of spells and melee attacks whilst also increasing their movement speed by 50%. This means if you see this up on a priest, you probably shouldn't look to use any of your abilities. However though, whilst in Greater Fade, priests are not immune to everything. There is a few abilities that go through. First are interrupts. Whilst a priest has Greater Fade up, they are still vulnerable to interrupts. So don't get fooled by the priest Greater Fading and casting in your face. Your interrupt will not miss, which can't be said for the rest of your abilities. Knockbacks also do go through Greater Fade and will interrupt the Priest, so spells like High Explosive Trap from a Hunter. Furthermore, Silence effects actually go through Greater Fade as well, so a Rogue's Empowered Garrote for instance. Just when you thought, damn, an immunity, that sounds OP. Well, Holy Priest has two. Holy Ward is another PvP talent in which when applied to a target will make the next form of crowd control immune. This can be used on either the priest himself or his teammates, and has a 30 second cooldown with a 30 second uptime. Sounds OP right? Well, yeah, it kind of is. However, the biggest drawback and best way to play around this ability is to purge it, as it's actually a magic buff. But Zot, what if I don't have a purge? Well, if you haven't got one, then it gets a little more tricky. The best way to deal with this though is going to be to either test the priest, and his ability to instantly reapply it the second it comes off cooldown, or more than likely use your worst CC to remove it. For example, if you're playing a monk, look to first paralyze the holy world off, then freely leg sweep. Rogues, for instance, can use cheap shot and then secure a full kidney. Alternatively, you can get help from your healer if it's in 2v2. Druids can rake stun or cyclone it off, Paladins can take Repentance to remove it, and a lot of classes have spammable CC to play around this cooldown. Most compositions can easily play around this cooldown, so make sure you look out for it and don't get your CC immune. 
Holy priests have an ability called Holy Word Chastise. When coupled with the talent Censure, this turns Chastise into a 4 second physical stun. This is very obnoxious and ranged and comes with a baseline 1 minute cooldown. But that's not what's important here. What you need to know is that Holy Priests get this 1 minute cooldown stun back faster the more they're able to smite. This is due to smite reducing the cooldown of Chastise by 4 seconds for every smite. This then is increased by their level 100 talent row where a Holy Priest can pick up either Apotheosis or Gift of the Naru. Allowing a Holy Priest to sit there and consistently smite you will in turn mean they're able to consistently secure stuns. Whilst I'm not recommending kick and smite, it's something you should know and aim to play around if possible. Looking to line of sight or just in general reducing the free time the Holy Priest has to smite will greatly increase your chances of winning. Holy Priests are unlike any other healer. They lack any form of consistent or instant healing. Druids have their hots, shamans have pack spirit and riptide, paladins have holy shock, monks have renewing mist, and discs have their atonement. Holy Priest has none of this though. Outside of their greater heal and their cooldowns, they do zero healing and have zero passive healing going on throughout the game. Yeah, I know renew is a thing, but renew does next to no healing in comparison and isn't even worth taking into consideration. Not only that, but currently in the meta, everything is about versatility, and every single healer in the game aims to stack versatility right now, with one exception, Holy Priest. Holy Priest relies so heavily on haste that it makes them very squishy targets, lock them down, disrupt their greater heals, and they're going to just flop. As a result of this, and to mask this weakness, Holy Priest tends to pair up with classes that pose a very high threat when left to free cast, such as Destruction Warlocks. The best way to play around this though is to sit on these casters until they use their high impact offensive cooldowns. For example, you sit on a Warlock, wait for Inferno and Dark Soul to then be down, and then look to swap and train the Holy Priest. A smart chain of disruption and some high damage and a Holy Priest will just fall over. Alright then guys, that's going to be our top 5 tips in order to counter Holy Priest. Hope this was useful and be sure to let us know what class you want to see next. Thanks for watching.